to the next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, display banner ads in your react native app for the new architecture both for android and ios so i will show you an example so this is my ios simulator and here you can see a banner ad been displayed now ignore this hello uh, text like <coughs> sorry i have just uh, displayed this uh, just for the sake of it but uh, this banner ad can be displayed anywhere inside your app so this is an example for it uh, so let's get started uh, and the output is similar for android as well that's why i won't show you for android uh, nothing much so first you have to create a react native application uh, next uh, uh, what you have to do is uh, you can just uh, search for uh, banner android uh, getting started okay i just want to show you this uh, uh, documentation as well just so that i don't miss out anything uh, next uh, just create a react native application and then you will have to enable the new architecture so for android you just have to search for new arc enabled so here is my uh, react native application i will just search for new arc enabled over here and inside gradle dot properties make this value as true next uh, for ios you will have to open your terminal and cd to your ios directory and then run this command uh, once you run this command this will enable the new architecture for ios as well next we will be <coughs> sorry we will be following the fabric native component so i will be copying a lot of code from this uh, documentation <coughs> i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation uh, so yeah uh, do keep this documentation handy so first what you have to do is that uh, you will have to go to your uh, app and currently i'm using react native 73 and i have also uh, inside the main android folder i have added this dependency so implementation of this okay and uh, because we require this ad services to load as soon as our app start and inside this build.gradle i have updated the kotlin version to 1.8.20 also inside android manifest.xml you have to add this metadata tag again this is a, everything is present in the uh, documentation for uh, banner okay so you have to add this and this is a testing ad unit later on in the video i will show you how to use a production ad unit but you should not be using production ad unit while you are developing your app otherwise if you try to click your own ads uh, google admop account might be blocked for you uh, so as uh, that is a very shady uh, way of doing things so don't just click on your own ads so use this test id again this test id is in the documentation so if you uh, want you can go through this documentation as well next inside java main activity dot kt i have also added this line because i want to initialize our mobile ads as soon as our uh, app uh, starts okay next what you have to do is that you will have to create a folder called rtn my banner ad now this is a fabric component so we will be copying a lot of code in that first you will have to create this package.json file and again i have uh, copy pasted everything from the documentation the only thing change is this name over here uh, then this name over here uh, and this name over here everything else remains the same next create a pod spec file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed next create a js folder inside that create a typescript file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed okay next create an android folder inside that create a build.gradle file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only thing is this i have added the supply plugin kotlin android as well as i have added change this namespace and i have also changed this build.gradle version as well and i have added this kotlin standard lib and you also need to add this google play ad services dependency because that will be help us to display the banner ads next create a package called my banner ad package.kt again i have copy pasted this from docs only this package name has been changed this name has been changed and this name has been changed next create a manager class again copy pasted everything from docs only this package name has been changed uh, this name has been changed and this uh, this uh, this only replace it with my banner ad okay so over here over here over here <coughs> as well as over here next you have to create a my banner ad dot kt file again i have copy pasted everything from docs uh, the change which you have to do is first you have to take a linear layout then i'm assigning some layout params to our linear layout then we have to call this hacky way of setting layouts because if you don't call these two methods 
you won't be able to see your banner view so if you see over here you have to add this to hack waves i have faced similar issue while displaying a camera x for uh, react native in android as well uh, so that hack i have to use it over here as well okay next uh, what you have to do is uh, you again you have to initialize an add view here you can set an add size as well so if you see the documentation there are different way to set the add size uh, and here again this add unit is a testing add unit later on in the video i will show you how to generate a production add unit and here i'm adding our add view to our linear layout then i'm creating a request builder and i'm calling load add and if uh, i have added some uh, listeners as well so in case if you want to listen to those events you can uh, write your code over here so this is for clicked this is for closed this is for if something goes wrong uh, this is for add impressions on add loaded so this is not required so i'll just remove this because i was trying to do a bunch of things later on i figured out like we have to add these two methods and on add open also we have a callback so and these are like hack ways of displaying uh this is not actually a hack but uh, this is like boilerplate code which you have to write okay once you are done with this uh, what you will have to do is you will have to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project and then run this command once you run this command you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to again run this command so but over here make sure you replace rn app with your project name so as you can see over here my project name is rn app also if you have written different folder name make sure you replace it over here as well then you will have to cd to the main android folder and then run this command so this will do code generation for ios then you will have to uh, for ios also you will have to cd to ios and then run this command okay and this will do code generation for ios as well also for ios you will have to go to the main ios folder go to pod file and you will have to add this dependency as well uh, and once you add this dependency again go to the ios folder and then run this command again okay so once you do that open the ios folder inside xcode uh, next go to uh, info.plist okay and here you will have to add this ca uh, gad application identifier again this is test id for ios i will tell you later on how to generate a production id as well and also you have to add this sk add networks item zero sk add network identifier okay so this is for google there are other add networks identifier as well which i will show you in a bit next you have to create an header file again i have copy pasted this from docs only this name has been changed next create a manager file like an object to c file but make sure you change the extension to dot mm so if you see over here the extension is dot mm which is an object to c plus plus file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed next uh, create an object to c plus plus file again and here again i have copy pasted everything from docs but we also have to import google mobile ads okay then uh, here i have just changed this name everything is copied from docs only this names has been changed and here instead of this we have to write this because we are writing the code inside the main ios folder itself next uh, here uh, again i have copied this from docs only name has been changed similarly for over here and we have to extend this gad banner view delegate as well then i am creating our banner view then i have created our view as well and this is again copied from docs this is copied from docs and here we are initializing our banner view again this is a test id later on i will show you the production id as well and i have created a banner view delegate as well and then uh, we are assigning it to our root view controller and then adding our banner view to our sub uh, to our main view uh, next you can ignore this this was just part of my debugging and here we are loading our ad and again this has been copied from docs and these are the helpful methods if you want you can uh, do whatever you want like when a banner is received when a, once a uh, once it did fail to receive a ad error all those kind of stuffs and again this has been copied from uh, documentation only this names has been changed okay now coming back to the uh, now yeah that's it uh, you can just uh, run your app oh, okay one more thing which i forgot is inside your app delegate.mm file you have to add this google mobile ads header file and also you have to add this bit of code as well okay so yeah now uh, coming back to the documentation let me check if i have shown you everything okay so we have added this we have added this 
okay uh, we have also added this so we are using kotlin so we have added this as well and this is for banner ads okay and here also we have added this because we have converted we have converted this to programmatic way okay and here you can see uh, there are different ways of displaying banner size sections so if you are curious if you want to display it in different size uh, you can check this documentation as well so instead of if you remember we were uh, using over here we were setting the size as banner uh, add size dot banner so instead of banner you can use large banner medium banner medium rectangle sorry whatever makes sense to you so we have done this we have also done this okay and we have added all these listeners as well okay add size Oh yeah, one more important thing you also have to add hardware accelerated to true. So if you go to the RN app, uh, no, go to the main Android folder, app src main Android manifest .xml. Apart from adding this metadata tag, you also have to add this hardware accelerated to over here as well as to your activity as well. So I have shown you f this. Uh, okay, now let's see for ios as well we'll go to ios next inside ios we have already added this pod okay if you are using swift package man i don't think if you are using react native i doubt you might be using swift package. also given this is already set up for us but any which ways i am showing it to you because in case if you are trying to use it with swift so here you can see that uh, other linker flags okay here you can see i have we have already added this dash this is already present in react native that's what they have specified in the documentation also if you remember i was telling you there are uh, third party buyers as well so if you remember they these are all third party ad network identifiers so the first one is google then if you see what what is this for so you can just go to this and if you go select you can see there is akari amazon then uh, what in mobi lift off but i have meta i have all only added one so if you see my info.plist uh, over here i have only added one so at least one is required which is of google you can add more if you want to so i have only added this if you want more you can add this okay so there are a lot yeah we have also done, we are in objective c so we are done with this now the objective we are using objective c plus plus right so you can't directly copy paste the code you will have to use something like this which i have shown you okay we have done with this now implementing a banner uh, also i have shown you this this again the code is little different because this is objective c we are using objective c plus plus and we have already already added this add unit as well okay and okay so if you want animations you can do something like this as well so yeah that's it for uh, displaying ad banner uh, for in react native uh, next i will show you how to create production ad units as well do i use this uh, my banner ad so you can import something like this and you can use it something like this so pretty simple right to get the production ad units for your android app what you will have to do is that you will have to go to google ad mob you will have to sign up and then you will have to click on apps uh, add an app uh, now i will add it for android uh, now uh, did this depends on you whether your app is already deployed to play store or not so i will just select no i will click on continue here i can give uh, my app some name so i will just give it as first app okay next i will click on uh, add app and here you can see so you will have to create add units as well as test int sdk integration uh, firstly one thing which i want to tell you tell to you guys is that once you have deployed your app to play store you will have to link your app back again uh, inside add mob so uh, there my so there will be an option to link your ad once it is deployed to play store but here i don't have any production app so uh, i will just wait for it uh, so i i won't uh, sorry link it 
and also it requires a review so once you have created an ad uh, like an app inside AdMob, you might have to wait for some period of time it won't be available to you immediately but i will show you how to create an ad unit so i will just click on add add unit now here you will have to select whether you want a banner or interstitial so i will just select banner and here you can give any ad name so i will just give first app uh, sorry first app banner okay and i don't want this i'll just click on create ad unit so here you can see this is the uh, uh this thing you have to copy to your uh, manifest as well as your to uh, to your xml file or programmatically however you have done it for your android st stuff so do copy this and uh, replace it uh, uh, like at the appropriate location inside your android app so if you want you can create another ad unit as well but i think that's it for me android but do make sure uh, you are properly linking your app uh, once you have uh, deployed it to uh, google play store as well as to the app store so i think uh, there might be some option like i'm not really sure where ad units may be in app settings i guess so here you can see app store details so if i click on add here you will have to search your app by your uh, url or package name and then you can link your uh, app with your uh, app with your uh, like google play store app with your this uh, app which you have created on admob so yeah that's it for android which we have to do is we have to link your our ios app uh, to admob so what you will have to do is you will have to go to google admob and then again search for apps you here you can click on add app uh, platform ios is the app listed on play store so depending on so my app is not listed so i will just click on no click continue i'll just give my app some name ios first okay and here i will click on add app then uh, what you will have to do is uh, so this uh, once you create your app it takes some time to review so uh, once you create add unit from this google ad mob it won't be immediately available for your ios app it will take some time uh, so yeah be uh, have some patience and uh, come back to uh, this google ad mob after a few days and that might be available to you also you have to deploy your app to play store and app store so i will also show you how to link that as well so first you will have to create on add add unit so first i'll select banner and here you can give some any name so i will just give ios first banner i'll click on create add unit and here you can see uh, i have got this uh, google mobile ads sdk like app id as well as this ad unit id so you have to replace this within your code so wherever we were using test id make sure you replace this within your code uh, only for production purpose uh, for development i would replay i would highly sh suggest you sticking with those test units so click on done. done so next if you want to link your app just go to app settings and here you can click on add and here you can search your app uh, by name developer name or store id or app url uh, so and that's how you can link your uh, this app which you have created on admob to your uh, app store app so yeah that's it for